Chaudhry Mohammad Ali who became the Prime Minister of Pakistan after the removal of Mohammad Ali Bogra's government in 1955. Uh, he assumed the office of Premiership on 12th October 1955 and served as the Prime Minister for almost uh, 13 months when he resigned from Premiership and the basic membership of Muslim League as well on 9th September 1956. Uh, his uh, period was a troublesome period, that's a different story, but the end of his period is, uh, is a unique one because he resigned at a moment when he was having a majority support from the assembly. This makes uh, this a unique example in the political uh, history of Pakistan. And today we are going to discuss the major reasons why he was uh, why he was compelled to resign although he was having majority in the assembly when he assumed the office he had to face two main challenges the first thing was to reconcile various interest groups to accept unification of west pakistan you know that west pakistan was unified in 1855 when all four provinces were marched to make a single unit uh, in west pakistan and there were a number of uh, pressure groups and interest groups in West Pakistan which were not supporting unification of West Pakistan because the unification of West Pakistan had marked a, a mark and aim to their political career. Their political career was limited to uh, local areas or to uh, their uh, previous respective provinces only. When uh, the when all provinces were unified and uh, one unit was made this uh, made them uh, this create a number of difficulties for them to become a politician of national caliber and to have some politics at national level so that's why number of interest groups were against this unification of west pakistan and it was a big challenge for chaudhry Muhammad Ali to reconcile all those interest groups to accept unification of west pakistan the second major challenge was the adaptation of the constitution the first constitution of the Pakistan uh, was uh, made in 1956 and uh, the greatest challenge for Chaudhry Muhammad Ali was to, uh, to motivate all uh, stakeholders to accept the new constitution. Now, way to fall, that's what were the mistakes made by uh, Chaudhry Muhammad Ali that led him to fall his government. The first and the most greatest, uh, the most important one, which we could call a greatest blunder as well, was the selection of Dr. Khan Sahib as the Chief Minister of West Pakistan. When Chaudhry Muhammad Ali uh, selected Dr. Khan Sahib as the Chief Minister of West Pakistan, Muslim League's Parliamentary Party opposed this decision. Dr. Khan Sahib was an old congressman and was against the creation of Pakistan. That's why Muslim League was not ready to accept Dr. Khan Sahib. While uh, Dr. Khan Sahib was an old friend of Iskandar Mirza as well, perhaps to get sympathies of Iskandar Mirza and establishment, Chaudhry Muhammad Ali decided to uh, choose Dr. Khan Sahib as the Chief Minister of West Pakistan. And, and Dr. Khan Sahib himself knew that you know, uh, there were a number of people in his own assembly who were not ready to accept him. When he uh, realized that his own uh, MPs were not ready to accept him, he uh, cleverly maneuvered a plan and dropped all those who were uh, his opponents and bring uh, his uh, followers or his supporters in cabinet. And with the help of the descendants of, uh, descendants of uh, Muslim League and above all with the help of Iskandar Mirza, he was able to make his own political party that was the Republican Party. The Republican Party grew with each passing day and at a moment uh, uh, there was a moment when they were able to uh, score 22 seats in the National Assembly. With 22 seats, Republican Party became the largest party in the center. Now Chaudhry Muhammad Ali was stuck between coalition and his own party. Since uh, Chaudhry Muhammad Ali was leading the central government uh, where Republican Party was a major coalition partner. And his own party men were demanding for the removal of Republicans chief minister in 
uh, West Pakistan. So uh, this uh, make a Chaudhary Mahmoodi stuck in a very difficult situation. On the one hand, he was supporting Dr. Khan Sahib because his support was a necessary to continue his own government and on the other hand his own party men were demanding to remove him. Uh, when uh, the parliamentary committee of Muslim League uh, mounted the pressure on Chaudhary Muhammad Ali to remove Dr. Khan Sahib, he took a rigid stance and he said that I am uh, the representative of central government where all parties are coalition and I am the representative of all coalition parties in central government not in a representative of single party and being the Prime Minister of Pakistan my decision should be based on the interest of country not on the resolutions of a political party so uh, when uh, Chaudhary Muhammad Ali took such a stance uh, the uh, parliamentary uh, members of parliamentary members of Muslim League consider it as the betrayal to the party and uh, uh, accuse him for not working for the development of party. Uh, when uh, so, so you saw that is Jodhram Hungali was stuck because his own parliamentary group was not ready to accept him, they were not ready to obey him and uh, the Muslim League became weakened because of this situation. Uh, Chaudhary Muhammad Ali being uh, a weak politician was not able to have grip on his own political party and the real power lay in the hands of Skandar Mirza. And Skandar Mirza was an old friend of Khan Sahib and he, so he was supporting Khan Sahib. And Khan Sahib uh, with the help of Skandar Mirza and the dissidents, uh, dissidents of Muslim League had made his own political party. So the Republican Party was growing stronger day by day while Muslim League was getting weaker day by day. And when Chaudhary Muhammad Ali called a parliamentary meeting of parliamentary parties, the MPs of Muslim League refused to join uh, the parliamentary meeting and they demanded that those uh, MPs who were previously uh, part of Muslim League and now they had quit uh, Muslim League and joined Republicans sh shall not be allowed to sit in this meeting. When uh, they demanded, uh, when they put such a harsh demand and refused to attend the parliamentary meeting, uh, Chaudhary Muhammad Ali was so much disheartened and he uh, put his resignation as the uh, resignation from Premiership and the basic membership of Muslim League as well. So this is a unique example in the political propriety of Pakistan uh, when uh, the Prime Minister submitted his resignation meanwhile he was having majority in the assembly. Thank you for joining. Take care. Goodbye.